So yesterday we went to Asheville. Nothing better to do. Kill some time. No intention on spending any money. And somehow we're left with this. It's the Ruger All-American, or the Ruger American. It's a 6.5 Creedmoor. I got a Leopold scope. I'd like to know more. I don't know the model on the scope. I just took their advice and let them give me what they claim was the best. And now we're fixing to psych this thing in. Jeff talked me into it, by the way. I didn't do it. I was looking at camo. And I come over there and he's like, we're gonna be a little bit. They're doing my paperwork. I'm like, what? Um, it's like, I bought a rifle. Actually, Jeff dared me. He's like, you ain't gonna buy a rifle when we get over here. Yeah, well, that might have happened too. I don't remember. Either way, here we are, but he needed it. Because why? Yes, I did need it because I, my deer rifle went to my oldest son, who is now, this will be his first year hunting. Oh, are we telling that excuse? I thought we were telling really why we bought it. Why did we really buy it? So we could shoot a bear at 300 yards? Oh, uh, well that, you know, I'd like to shoot a bear at 300 yards, but. Or a deer, or a target, or whatever. I have been, my goal was to eventually have a gun that would shoot 300 yards and take something out because I did not have one. The gun I had before, I just hunted with a 223. He was just jelly in my seven bag, really, is what it was. And your shooting skills, jelly. of course. I got bad skills. Yeah, he's got really good skills. All right. So here we are. We've only got four boxes of ammo, so, yeah, so hopefully this goes well. Wish That's all they tell us. What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. So we're going to tell you a little story about my rifle, or should I call it my random purchase. Uh, not too all long. your purchases are random. Yeah, all my purchases are very random. Went to... You're going to tell me out on the name. I always forget the name of that place. Sportsman's Warehouse. Yes. Paradise. Money Pit. I don't yeah. know. Yeah, we went. went to the gun store over yonder in Asheville. Yeah, they had a barrel of fire, and you just throw your hundreds in there, mm. and you stay warm. I threw my pennies in it, chucked them back out. <laughs> well, it took my hundreds. But anyway, so we were there, and we went back to see what kind of ammo they had in stock. And while we were checking about the ammo, I've had this weird thing where I want to we're in the mountains of western north carolina 90 percent of the time when you hunt around here you're going to have at most a hundred yard shot due to the terrain trees etc but i have this weird thing where i want to shoot something 400 yards 500 yards even if it's just a target so i decided i was gonna buy a rifle that would uh do that for me so i wonder I, if the fbi will review this video later when they're hunting like down a sniper and being like, I wonder if that boy did it. Really? A sniper? Yeah. I've just said that we always shoot 100 yards, and now I'm going to go to 500, and somehow I'm a sniper. That's a long way. Yeah, but we never said I hit anything. We've not even tried it yet. That's true. That's true. Anyways, right, go ahead. So, so I went back and bought a rifle. I bought a um, the Ruger American Predator, the 6.5 Creedmoor. I'd love to sit here and just pick it up and tell y'all front to back all the details and pretend I just know everything I'm talking about, but uh, that would be a lie. It goes pew pew. Yeah, it, uh, you put bullets in it and it will shoot. Uh, I did, I picked up a Leopold VX 3i uh, scope and we have shot it. And we have seen it, I mean, it, we sighted her in at what, 100 yards? 100 yards, yeah. It drives nails. Yeah, it's it's seriously, I'm, I'm definitely not no sniper, but it, it will shoot. It's ridiculous how how good of a group it'll shoot at 100 yards. Better than anything else I've got. And so, anyway, so we picked it up, random, bought it. And now my next goal is we're going to do a video soon of me trying to shoot a target at, what do we measure, 350 yards? It's about, about 350 yards, yeah. Probably a large target, like a watermelon. Yeah, I'm, I'm, a watermelon's not large at 450 oh, yards man. or 350 yards. So yeah, we're going to get in with deer season. Then we're going to have some either really cool video Maybe shoot a GoPro. We'll see how our luck goes. Yeah. I'm, so, I need to get a Jeff Southern to us target. I'll stand down there and hold something. This <laughs> no, 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 no. Just a target. We always said somebody had to die on the channel. Well, you said that that would get our good views up. Yeah, but anyway, so that's kind of a little bit on this gun. And I'm, we'll bring some more videos of us trying to hit something at 350 yards before we know it. Be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Now watch us waste some ammo. We'll see you. Y'all be pretty. 
All right, let's see it. Three back to back, same hole. I don't know about the same hole, but they'll be trying to get them all. Well, on whatever, the in the bullseye. Oh, Excuse you, that was my no, GoPro. Not the GoPro. <laughs> All right. There you go. Bring back crew. <laughs> you're not going to ride. I thought you are taking your son. He can sit in my lap. You can drive. I don't want to hear no nonsense about how I put it, hole in it with my finger or pocket knife or... Oh, sit out. down right there. Sit down. Uh-uh, not like that, Aiden. You stay here, baby. We'll be right back. Put it in, uh, he's in neutral, ladies and gentlemen. We don't know who that is. We don't know where we picked her up at. To be honest, I couldn't tell where I hit. What are we gonna do if they're all in the same hole? There's no proof of that. So. Well, then, if they are, then you can stand in there at the camera and I'll try to repeat it. See if I can put them in the same hole. Oh, I'd be impressed if I just put a new target up and you hit the center once out of five. I'd be impressed if I hit the target. Oh. One straggler. Uh, no, two stragglers. No. One's half out. Oh, you're crazy. One's in the yellow, and that's it. You're cr there's what? There's one more that's completely in the yellow. I'll take two in the yellow. Moving. I had another one right on top of the one I hit. That one's enough in the yellow to count. That counts. That one's a total mess. And that one, yeah, it's high. That's still a tight group from 100. A really tight group. I'll switch it out, and if you want to put four through it, and we'll see how tight your group is. Uh, we're running out of time today. Y'all hear that? He's scared. He don't want to do it. What was that again? I said we're running out of time. Well, I mean, we We're got going to shoot crossbows. No, nah, we got plenty. We, get, we got time for just you to put. A... I and I don't have my right shooting muffs. I don't have my gloves. He's got a muff, all right. <laughs> So what's your final thoughts on your purchase? I'm happy with it. It shoots better than uh, my 223, which is the exact same rifle, with different yeah. caliber. It's a lot more accurate than that 223. But my AR is a lot more accurate than my 223 Ruger American 2, yeah. for whatever reason. I figured that Ruger American 223 would be a lot more accurate than it is. I mean, it'll... Look, if y'all appreciate my music, please leave it in the comments. No. Miss Press over here has no. an issue. It was. You, your last video, it was literally like 10 seconds, and I was like, oh, Addison. my God. Like, what kind of music is that? Awesome. At least if you're, no, it wasn't. It was the stupidest music I'd ever heard in my life. It literally put me to sleep in like two seconds. Don't do that shit. Well, good. Put it on before you go to bed, and then it'll give us some 
Watch minutes. No. All right. I don't want to move your face. Okay.